What is going on, everybody? Riddles here, back again. This is the Riddle Me This podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in this evening. It is always greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, I know this is my first video, my first like actual video in a while. Um, between me working, uh, doing the haunted house thing again. Um, which is still going on, of course, um, and um, recently a close personal good friend of mine uh, passed away. Um, my last video that was on this channel was my tribute video to him. Go and check that out if you haven't. Um, Jay was a good fucking guy. He really was, and I miss him dearly. Um, but, um, yeah, so... Now I'm I'm I finally got some time to come back in, to come back and uh, do some videos. Uh, I don't have to be back from work until Friday, Friday and Saturday, so I have some time. So I thought I would come on here and I would give my thoughts real quick on <laughs> this Shaggy Two Dope Fred Durst situation. Uh, if you don't know. What's going on with that? Fred Durst uh, with Limp Biscuit uh, was performing um, in Camden, New Jersey, uh, with the band uh, at uh, Rock Allegiance, and the footage of this is just fucking hilarious. I've watched it like a hundred times today. It's been on constant loop since I I discovered it. It's fucking great. But in in the middle of their of the song Faith, you know the one that Limp Bizkit covered uh, many many years ago on their debut album, um, which let me let me start off by saying I do like old Limp Bizkit stuff, um, everything from Three Dollar Bill y'all to Chocolate Starfish and Hot Dog Flavored Water I like everything after that just blows dick. But, anyways, they're performing Faith, and all of a sudden you see this guy in a white tank top come up behind Fred Durst and levitate off the ground and drop kick Fred Durst in the back. Well, let me stop there. Attempt to drop kick Fred Durst in the back. He didn't fully connect with it. And that person in that white tank top was, of course, Shaggy Two Dope one half of ICP, Insane Clown Posse. Um, yeah, he didn't quite connect completely fully with the drop kick. Uh, it looked ridiculous. It was funny as hell. I laughed when I first saw it. I'm still laughing about it now. I mean, it's you just have to go and watch the footage if you haven't seen it. Um, it's fucking epic. But... Uh, apparently, Shaggy Two Dope uh, was arrested. He went to jail for this. Um, but at the same time, I ask why? Why was Shaggy Two Dope arrested and put in jail for this? If you watch the footage, you clearly see he did not fully connect with the drop kick. Um, you know, he botched it more than anything. Um, and. Fred Durst was not seriously injured. He was not harmed. He he didn't even come off of his fucking feet and hit the ground. Fred Durst was perfectly fucking okay. But there again, it's Fred fucking Durst. We all know what a whiny, crybaby, little bitch, prima donna he can be at times. So... For Shaggy Tudo to be arrested for something like this involving Fred Durst, it doesn't really shock me all that much. Um, and this is Shaggy Tudo we're talking about here. This is the guy at the gathering who will drive around on a golf cart and cause mayhem. This guy has wrecked more golf carts at the gathering than anybody else we probably know in our lifetime. I mean, let's be serious here. That's... That's straight up, but 
Yeah, I I just I think it's pointless that Shaggy was arrested for this and put in jail or whatever. Stupid. Fred Durst was not injured. He was not hurt, harmed in any way. Um, that's just Shaggy Tudo for you. He's a crazy motherfucker. Um, and he was without the face paint too. That's it. Just made it funnier for some fucking reason. Uh, Shaggy drop kicking Fred Durst without the face paint. But yeah, it is what it is. Uh, supposedly DJ Lethal is um, extremely pissed off at him at, at Shaggy from what I heard, um, and he's trying to track Shaggy Two Dope down for you know God only knows what fucking reason. Um, but it is what it is. Yeah, it's funny, but the end result of it is just fucking stupid. Shaggy got arrested literally for nothing. Um, yeah, maybe he shouldn't have done it, but still, who hasn't thought of or dreamt or fantasized about drop kicking Fred Durst? I, I mean, honestly, seriously. So... Yeah, Fred Durst needs to stop being a whiny crybaby little bitch about it. And just going about his fucking life. Um, but yeah, you know, Shaggy kind of was in the wrong. Maybe he shouldn't have done that. Should have just stayed away. Kept his hands to himself, or in this case, his feet. But it is what it is. It's Shaggy Tudo. Come on. So that's my thoughts on it. What do you guys think? Do you think, uh, you know, they were in the right to arrest Shaggy uh, for the, for this? Uh, do you think it was stupid that he got arrested for it? Did you think it was funny as shit like I did? <laughs> you know, just, uh, just leave comments and whatnot. Tell me what you think of this situation. Um, also, check all the links in the description below the Wicked Crew YouTube channel and merchandise, uh, and all of my social media is there. Give it a like, follow, whatever. Uh, you know the deal. So that's it for now. Until next time, I'm Riddles, and this is the Riddle Me This podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Have a great rest of your evening, and I will catch you later, hopefully, uh, later on this week. Peace out.